they were waving goodbye to the sun. There she is. There she goes. Good morning, peoples. Here from Ubatuba, Brazil. For all those that aren't here, hope you're doing all right there on the other side. We're here in Praia Vermelha, in English, the Red Beach. Today I'm taking this opportunity to go for a ride to show the coast, a bit of the coast here because I've been wanting to do that. It's been raining for like five days straight and I, I'm leaving soon already. And all those days to come are rain. And we're very lucky there's no rain this morning and even a bit of sun. So we're gonna go up and down at the coast a little bit, show you a couple of spots here, but uh, also show you some flashbacks of what the hell I've been up to. It's pretty nice out here. Well, the Alp. Let's go. So we're going from the Red Beach to Itamambuca. Apparently that's a pretty big surf beach. One of the better ones, or at least where uh, where they do world champions ships. At least where they do world uh, surf championships in Brazil. Itamambuca, which should be a bit of a dirt road. I've been told. Let's have a look see. Howdy. Muddy, muddy, muddy. It's been raining for days. Ah, there's the sea. Well, look, sure. So, uh, so, um, gray day, but no rain. It's biggie, but still warm. I'm on the bike. Whew, I'm good. Like I said, uh, 300 islands or so uh, up uh, the coast here from Sao Paulo to uh, all the way to Rio and even thousand or more beaches. And I ended up going to some really nice beaches in Angra dos Reis, which I just ended up by coincidence uh, in one of the nicest places uh, in Brazil apparently uh, where a lot of people want to uh, vacation to uh, on a boat. This is here in Brazil what's called picanha and this is what they do here they cut the beef into little slices a little bit of blood in the middle always plenty of salt on there and it's absolutely delicious and I must say especially when you're in a place like this I don't get to do this all the time right <laughs> to eat in a place as beautiful as this. Como é que chama a área? Praia do Dentista. This is called the Beach of the Dentist. And this is a very popular region here in Brazil. Some consider it the most beautiful region called Embu dos Reis. It's in the southern part of Rio de Janeiro state. A lot of people from Brazil flock here. here for example I'm looking for like two three four islands and then the mainland behind all right this is the most riskiest thing I've done with the camera we're so close to shore I might as well swim to the beach right so this is like a 
what would that be? Like an infinity beach? You get onto the beach on one side, and the beach goes onto the other side. They wanted to show me this. My blue, weird color. So there's the boat. We're on uh, the other side here now. The sunshine in our face. Let's switch to here. That's right. Oh, here's where all the color is. Nice. When you look from here, it doesn't even look like you're on a beach at open sea, right? It's like you're you're on a lake. All right, it's time to get in the boat. It really is something else here towards the end of the day. The water is calm like a lake in between all these islands. And uh, it's just, it is stupid beautiful. I didn't know where the hell I was going. My cousin was like, I have a friend with a boat. Okay. Turns out, uh, it's one of those really special places you're in Brazil. They were waving goodbye to the sun. There she is. There she goes. So right now it's pretty mad we're back with the boat here on the coast. There's a nuclear power plant there, you can't see it. It's on the other side, a outlet of the cooling water. It goes into here in the small bay and the water is hot, it's warm. It's, it's now a little bit fresh out here but the water is like, it's like a bathtub. This is brilliant, you know, if I grow a third leg, well, uh, in my case a fourth, then uh, you know why. Or if I start to melt or spew up blood, you know why, but I think we're fine because a lot of people come down here. It's, it's pretty nuts. Well, that was my uh, little Angra dos Reis uh, uh, experience. And, uh, and I'm just going to ride up the coast uh, a little bit and hopefully we can stay uh, out of the clouds. all the islands there so many of them as you follow the coast got a beautiful view out here uh, uh, but I was here before and I've also been before to Paraty which is a typical Portuguese colonial town and I never seen a Portuguese town like that before and let me show you how that looked like uh, real quick on a sunny day so from one moment to the other we're not in Brazil anymore but we're in Portugal I won't deny it, I get a bit nostalgic for Portugal when I see a place like this. I haven't been there for over 10 years and before that I used to go almost every year since I was a baby. And this place takes you right back to some of the old villages you have throughout uh, the country uh, back in Portugal. But That was Paraty on a beautiful sunny day, which today it's not. Just happy that it wasn't raining, but it already started raining now. And it starts with the drops and it slowly builds up. I'm gonna try maybe get to that beach, but there's a river that needs to be crossed, which probably won't be shallow. So on the bumpy uh, dirt pothole road, Probably that little thing in the in the wheel came uh, loose again. It's all mangled up, as you saw in Bolivia. So uh, the speedo uh, isn't working again. Raya Beach. A lot of these places have these chill little towns. Some are a lot bigger, a lot richer. This one uh, seems a bit smaller. So this is a Puruba beach and there is the sea, um, but there's this uh, river crossing here. It's about knee deep, but if you wanted to do it on a bike, sure, but I don't think this is the place 
where people do that. Plus, it's mixed with uh, salt water. So that was a little ride here on uh, the coast of uh, uh, Uba, Tuba. I'm leaving out soon and I think I'm going to Sao Paulo um, because it's just going to be raining. There's no point for me riding up the coast, which I wanted to show more because it's just going to be raining and it's a beautiful coast up to Rio and uh, also still because I need some parts and there's going to be parts out there. Biggest place in uh, Brazil. It's definitely going to be stuff there. I had some things sent when I just got here. It took eight days to get here, 200 k's from Sao Paulo, which was a bit much. So. Better be close to the epicenter. Like to order some parts for the bike. Um, I would like to order some things for the GoPro, but you know, they take time uh, to get here if I do it internationally. And there's this insane tax. If I go on Amazon, the product costs 100% more. So that's a shame. It's not like in Chile, and um, things are really expensive in Brazil to buy. Really expensive. Uh, so I still got to see how I'm going to do that. So, Sao Paulo it is. Maybe I'll meet up. Uh, with one or two people out there who've been uh, shouting out in the comments, so uh, who knows? Watch out with these corners and the cars. That's what I mean? Oh, breaking in the mud is no bueno. Breaking in the mud sucks. motorcycle the most amazing machine in the world, eh? <laughs> it's a different story when I don't have all my crap on here too, eh? Woo! Fishy fishy tail! Slow down, boy! Okay, let's go have one more look-see. Because the droplets stopped, but they're picking up again. But at a... Maybe we have a nice uh, vantage point somewhere. A nice view. Ah, oh, this is fun. Best machine in the world. <laughs> man, look at those cagers, man. <laughs> Just like in society, they're all locked up, man. What's going on? I'm looking for a nice view. <laughs> oh yeah, very nice home. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. Isn't that something, eh? Do do Holanda. E e depois por lá é que eu eu primeiro fui para o leste, para o fim da Rússia, mas isso já foi em 2014. E depois lá para o Japão, aí a Austrália. Trabalho e Nova Zelândia, trabalhas. E depois da de Nova Zelândia fui, fui vim para o Chile, agora visitando o Brasil. E aí da Bolívia você entrou pela, pelo Mato Grosso? Mas... Corumba, sim, estava um calor lá no Mato Grosso. Dá pra... Onde é que está falando? É da Holanda. Holanda? Sabe onde é que é a Holanda? Sim, é boa. É Tchau, boa viagem. Fiquem bem, bom, bom dia. Tudo de bom para você aí, boa viagem. Aí. Sucesso na sua viagem aí. Para Obrigado, mim. amigo. Vê lá então online. Pode ser que as vossas caras aparecem lá, hein? Tchau. Best vehicle in the world, baby. <laughs> what a machine! Why would you not ride a motorcycle?
right folks so like I said at one point the rain comes I'm just trying to get home without getting too wet it's nice having you along for the ride a little bit of uber tuba I would have liked to show uh, to have shown you the coast better but uh, what it is right now heading out tomorrow it's going to be in the rain it's going to be fun thanks for watching and uh, i hope uh, for all of you to join back in uh, soon in the next episode and uh, oh yeah i've been uh, releasing the episodes a bit slower because i'm in one place you know for three weeks now so i don't want to run out of episodes so i uh, post a little bit slower anyway thanks for watching y'all peace out ciao the troubles of editing sometimes. Leepy. Leepy. You're a cat. You don't know how to edit.